Oh my goodness, guys. I was so nervous that I wouldn't be able to get the MacBook Air today, which is the day that it released, but I managed to get it and I'm so excited to go pick it up. We could be dancing in the stars. We could be floating on a lake. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay. Don't pass, babe. Oh my goodness guys, I am so excited to unbox this new M1 MacBook Air. It is in the rose gold color. The journey to getting this device was definitely not easy. It took quite a bit of effort, but it's all worth it because I am so excited to play around with this thing. I did my research on the M1 chip and it seems like this laptop has incredible performance. So now I'm really curious to see how it will actually perform. So in this video, I will first of all, of course, be running some benchmarks and then I will be playing around with some of the new exciting features such as playing mobile games. Like the rest of the world, I am currently obsessed with Among Us so I really want to see how Among Us performs on this Mac. And of course, this is just the beginning. This is just the first impressions video. I will definitely be making a lot more videos on this device, doing all sorts of tests and more comprehensive reviews. So if you want to see that content, then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. And now with Without any further ado, let's just get right on into it. Okay guys, so I actually have a little confession. I did already film this intro once before, but without the mic, so I had to refilm it. But unfortunately, that means that I already tore off the plastic, so uh, I will insert that in here right now because I know that <laughs> that part is super satisfying. I have this little tab right here to make it really easy to rip off. Wow, this is actually a lot heavier than I thought. All right, we're back and let's open this thing. Okay, that opening wasn't as graceful as I imagined, but oh my goodness, isn't she so pretty? Oh my gosh, this rose gold color is like actually my favorite. I didn't think it would be rose gold because it just said gold on the website, but I am pleasantly surprised by this. Okay, let's take it out and remove this plastic. Oh my gosh, it is so small and light. I'm like used to my MacBook Pro 16 inch. No, let me get it. Guys, just look at this. So this is my MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is the little baby MacBook Air. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so small. And now as I'm holding both of these at the same time, oh my goodness, my MacBook Pro is so heavy. I, I can't. This thing is actually pretty light in comparison. All right, and now let's actually turn on my laptop. Wow, I've heard about the startup sound, so I'm not shocked by it, but that's pretty nice. Okay, now I'm just going to set up this new device. Oh my goodness, my face is so big. Alright, well, right now iCloud is setting up, but it is taking so long to set up. Oh, there we go. Hey Siri. Okay, and we are going to select auto mode. Okay, we are setting up my Mac. All right, okay, it's fully set up now. So now let's switch up the angles. Let me do some magic right here. All right, we have zoomed out quite a bit and it is time to run some benchmarks. This right here is obviously the MacBook Air that we just unboxed and it is actually the lowest spec MacBook Air. And this device over here, this is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is my daily laptop and it is almost the highest spec. So this means that I am going to be comparing the lowest spec M1 laptop to the highest spec or almost the highest spec Intel laptop. This is definitely going to be very interesting. I am so curious to see how this M1 laptop will perform against my big boy, super powerful laptop. Okay, so I just 
finished running all of the benchmarks and yes, I did make sure to close down any other applications where I was doing so just in case they, you know, interfered with it. But let's first talk about the CPU benchmark. Okay, so my MacBook Pro 16 inch for the single core scored 1016, for the multi-core scored 5899. Now let's take a look at the MacBook Air. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I'm I'm like legitimately so shocked right now. For the single core on my MacBook Air, it scored 1706. And then for the multi-core, it scored 7254. Okay, and this is this is just the CPU, but like already the MacBook Air has blown the MacBook Pro out of the water. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at the um, metal score, which is uh, the GPU benchmark. All right. <laughs> okay, so my MacBook Pro scored 30,592, and then my MacBook Air scored 18,142. Okay, this is kind of a relief to me because at least my MacBook Pro isn't getting completely destroyed by the MacBook Air. And for the last benchmark, let's look at the Octane scores. So Octane measures like web responsiveness, basically how fast the browser loads. And actually now I realize that this might have not been a fair test because I did run the Octane score on Safari on the MacBook Air and on Chrome on the MacBook Pro. So later on, I'm going to download Chrome on the MacBook Air and then run Octane again. But for now, um, on my MacBook Pro, Octane scored 43,579, which is very good, very high. Guys, okay, <laughs> the Octane score on the MacBook Air is 64,856. So Chrome didn't perform as well as Safari, and I think this is because it was run through an emulator. I am so shocked but like so far like it, especially the cpu benchmark actually i am going to run it again because i don't i don't believe it all right and it loaded again okay so again the two scores are very much comparable no bug no fluke my macbook pro really just got destroyed in the cpu department by my macbook air Okay, but another thing that I noticed is that while these two laptops were running the benchmarks, my MacBook Pro definitely turned up the fans and um, yeah, you could hear it, but this MacBook Air, it has no fan inside of it, so um, it was completely, completely silent. Now I have really high expectations for how it will perform. And I think that's going to be it for the benchmarks, so I'm gonna put this device away for now. Okay, so I've got my little MacBook right here. It's so tiny. And now I'm going to show you some of the new features of this M1 MacBook that are enabled by its M1 chip, which is actually the very first ARM-based chip that is designed by Apple specifically for the Macs. Now, Apple has been using ARM-based chips in the iPhone and the iPad, so you can kind of think of the M1 chip as like a beefed up version of the iPad chip, but, uh, thrown into the Mac. And the very first feature that we're going to try out is the always on feature. So I'm going to close this down now. Wow, it's, yeah, like, it, yeah, it, it doesn't shut off. That is really cool and I definitely like it. And also, I have heard that the MacBook Air has incredible battery life. Now, of course, in this video, I can't really test it and show you guys, but definitely in a future video when I do a more in-depth, comprehensive review of the MacBook Air, I will tell you how the battery life performed. Okay, so since the Mac is now based on ARM, just like the iPhone and the iPad, this means that all of the iPhone and iPad apps are now available on the Mac App Store. Of course, unless the developer of those apps decide to opt out, but that means that I can find Among Us on the App Store. What the avocado? Yeah, so far Among Us is running super smooth. Ooh, okay guys, first game on the new ARM MacBook and we are the imposter. This is so exciting. Oh shit. Okay, I swear I'm not this bad at this game. I, I swear. 
I swear guys, I swear I'm not that bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sad. The first time that I get imposter, I get playing on AR and Mac. Yeah, I really, I can't press enter to send, that's weird. I'm not used to it. Oh, guys, I swear I'm better at Among Us. Like, I swear, I can pull off some big brain imposter moves. Yeah, today's just, uh, just a bit rough, you know? It's one of those days. Okay, so obviously ARM is super cool, but there are some potential downsides to this as well. And one is that now you can no longer bootcamp into Windows. And of course, I know if you didn't ever bootcamp into Windows, then you don't care about this. But for me, there are some PC only games that I like to play. But now on this new MacBook Air, I wouldn't be able to play those games, which is kind of unfortunate. And the second downside, and this is the more concerning one, is that some apps that previously ran just fine on the Intel chip won't run natively on ARM, at least for a little bit until the developers decide to upgrade the apps. And many of the incompatible apps are actually going to be the ones that are downloaded from the web. So for example, Google Chrome, VS Code, and Adobe Premiere. So a good amount of like these professional apps might actually have trouble running on the ARM, which is of course concerning. Now there is an emulator called Rosetta that is built into macOS Big Sur, and it's supposed to enable the ARM Max to run all of the old Intel apps automatically, but of course the performance is not guaranteed. Alright, hey guys, so yesterday my camera actually died before I could wrap up the video, but I really want to show you guys this last feature because it is really cool, and it is the webcam. Honestly, I was pretty disappointed when I found out that the new webcam was still 720p. I was like, where is the 1080p webcam? Like, come on, can we have it already? So I honestly didn't have high expectations for how the webcam on the new MacBook Air will perform, but actually the high quality image signal processing is doing its job in this new laptop, and the webcam quality does look significantly better. I don't think either webcam looks really good or sharp because they are both 720p, but definitely on the new MacBook, there is better color and better white balance, and overall, it does look significantly better than the old web. So yeah, overall, I would say, although I kind of wish that it was 1080p, this new webcam is definitely a huge improvement from the old one, and I really like it. Okay, and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and also so be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech related content. I will definitely be testing out the M1 MacBook Air more, so if you don't want to miss that, then be sure to subscribe. And I am also streaming on Twitch. I really want to experiment with this MacBook Air with streaming, so if you're curious about that, then you can follow me on Twitch as well. And that will be it for this video, so I will see you guys in another one of my videos. Bye!